Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about hay, haylage and straw. So today I'm going to be talking about all the different types that we produce. I've done a lot of videos on how we produce it, but I've never actually spoke about the end product. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. If you do enjoy the video today guys, please give it a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe, because the videos are every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven. Hope you enjoy it guys. Cheers. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. So first of all we're going to be talking about hay today and here behind we've got two stacks of little bales I'm going to show you the difference between them, work across all the barns in the farm, all the different products that we produce and we've got a notepad here, I've been organised because I don't want to get anything wrong and mess it up so that's um, the plan of action. First of all we're going to go on to these little bales here. So we've got the two types of little bale hay here, so first of all these bales, so these here, these are Italian ryegrass little bales of hay. And these ones here, uh, meadow grass. So what these are are a softer type of hay. And if I climb a bit, uh, give me one moment. These are much softer. So these are a meadowy style type. Whereas the ones over here, these are more Italian ryegrass. So these are a bit stalkier. And particularly the competition yards like these because as you, a lot of you may know, a lot of the hay and haylage that we produce is designed for horses that are competing. We also produce stuff for things that aren't doing as much work. But yeah, this stuff will be low energy, high fiber, perfect for what competitions horses want. But yeah, they're the two types of little bells we have. So just to make sure you can see, so you've got type here, type there, you can probably see the difference I spoke about already. Next we'll move on to these big bells over here. So these will be similar stuff, just in a different type of bale. So we're on to the third bale now, and coincidentally, the half a bale's gone here. So you might think, why are we taking half a bale? So what we do with these, these are eight foot bales, which are bales they split into two four foot. So as you can see there, the string's cut, and there's also strings that are bailed down the middle swad, 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 wad, whatever you want to call it. And wads like that. So people would have these bigger bales that probably have a few more horses or they'd use them a wad at a time. So these bales have bailed into wads so you can see there they split up. And obviously the little bales over there are really ideal for moving around because you can't move these as well. The difference with these ones is that these are a perennial ryegrass hay, where the ones before an Italian ryegrass and one before that were a meadow style variety hay. Now we're on to the fourth base, I'm just going to climb up and show you. These are some round bale hay, so what these are is a exactly the same type of grass variety as these. So these are uh, meadow grass type of round bales, and what we have really is just another form of bale to what people like. So we have bales in little conventionals, big squares, rounds, we just cater to whatever the customer wants because everyone prefers something a little different. Maybe if you want to leave a bale in a field, Rounds would be good, but you won't want all these squares because it would be too much wastage. For some people, you can't have these because they don't have the machinery, so they need little bales. It just depends on what your yard's like, really. And we try to cater for everyone for all their wants and needs, so that's what we try and do. We produce a whole range of products from good standard to extremely good standard. I would say nothing's below a good standard here because we try and do everything as best as we can. I'll just have a wander across the yard now and show you guys the haylage as that's the next thing I've come to around the yard. So we come across the yard now, I'm gonna to talk to you guys a bit more about the haylage that we produce. So first one I'm gonna to talk to you about um, the really high end stuff. So this is the stuff in the dark green wrap. Any of this is the first cut Italian ryegrass. So this is, um, directed towards competition horses, race horses. You won't get anything better than this anywhere, really. So that's this stuff. I'm gonna open you a bell in a minute, but first of all, I'm gonna show you around the different qualities. So anything then that's in green and another color, Italian rye grasses, this is basically exactly the same stuff, but the second cut. So these are designed, they're still top quality haylage, just not quite as high end as these. But these are a really good product. All of these are, probably low energy, high fiber, so really good, like I say, for competition and racehorses. 
and then over there we've got the big light green stack and the big light green stack is a perennial ryegrass so this is your basic haylage that general horse people would have obviously they vary on prices but i'm not going to go through prices today because it depends on the volume you buy where you're based at it varies a lot really just get in touch i'll put a number below for my dad who's the guy that's the main person to deal with and that's neil so i'll just put it on here and uh, we're based in staffordshire for anyone interested but this video is more about what we do on the farm so i've just got a bell to one side cut it open for you guys it smells amazing so yeah obviously this is the haylage this is some of the top quality haylage so italian ryegrass this is about approximately 30 percent um, moisture level 70% dry matter designed for the competition horses and if you haven't watched the channel before I'll quickly tell you the difference between hay and haylage so hay is dried in the field so that'll be about 10% um, moisture level 90% dry matter where haylage has still got some moisture in it so it needs to be wrapped and fermented if it wasn't wrapped it wouldn't ferment properly and it would go off um, rot I mean so yeah this is the haylage and we'll now go and talk through the rest of the barns also I forgot to say on the haylage front basically everything we bail is squares and four and five foots 80 by 90 centimeters they're the size that we produce and they almost forgot there for the people that don't have the space for big bales we also repack the best haylage into little packs here so these just like that these are sealed at one end and go for a repacking machine so these obviously are the same haylage just in a smaller bale and these are a lot more ideal for a small holder or someone without space righto so i've made my way around to the second barn and at the back here we've got some more hay the same meadow hay is around the back but the front we've got some really nice wheat straw so these are in seven foot bales some really nice stuff this is obviously for bedding um, what we do with the straw is we buy it off the field as a crop and bale it into different types of bales So we've obviously got big bales, little bales and round bales again I'll just go on to the next page. So this is more straw. This is um, barley straw So the difference is that straw at the front that's from a wheat crop here and this is from a barley crop Animals will tend to eat barley, but they won't tend to eat wheat as much. So the difference is there's a bit more um, energy and nutritional value to barley straw where there's um, not so much in wheat straw. They basically do the same job. It's for bedding, so not much difference there. And so for anyone wondering, straw is a byproduct from when you produce cereal crops. So wheat, barley, rape oats you can have any type of straw the straw is based at the stem of the plant and at the top of the plant where you've got the little seeds that's what you harvest in a combine and it's the byproduct some farms plow it back into the soil to get more nutrients in other guys bale it for bedding it just depends what your system involves but yeah that's a straw we'll now go on to even more straw in the next bay and i'll talk a bit more about that on to the next bay now apologies if the light isn't very good but the tractor and drill are parked under cover in the way this is more barley straw. Um, this is bailed into seven foots again. Much the same, but I thought I'd show you. So these um, bays are what, 15 foot wide, 18 foot wide. You see, girder, 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 more girders, about that wide. So you get two seven foots in, and then they go all the way back. So we think that's there. They get all the way back where you can't see. And there we've got some different type hay. So this is Timothy hay. So the difference with Timothy and perennial, Timothy's a much softer grass. So as you can see, the seed heads like that on top. And this is a much softer hay. Basically, it's good quality, but more of a traditional style of hay. Um, slower growing, longer lay. So when I say lay, they're in the ground for longer. And then finally, on the end, We've got even more hay there, but we've got a load in the way, so we'll have to walk around it. So we're on to the final bait, and this is the Italian ryegrass hay. So this is exactly the same stuff that's in the haylage bales, but obviously dried to a much lower um, moisture level. This stuff's also designed at the high-end racehorses, competition yards, and it's just basically another variation of haylage. As I have um, said throughout the video, a lot of stuff is for competition yards, race quality stuff, but we also produce all different types of grades. So as I said, there's first, second cut haylage. The second cut comes at a lower price. 
And then we've got the perennial ryegrass haylage, which is more of a general haylage. I've spoke about this throughout the video. Then we've got grass to suit everyone. Sorry, we've got hay, haylage to suit everyone. Any market you're in, we can find the product for you. We've got a range of prices. Don't be afraid to get in touch. But yeah, I've um, showed you around today. Um, there is some round bales at another yard. There's some in the shed, but it's too dark and there you won't be able to see because the camera's not actually that good in low level situations but i'd just like to say a massive thank you for watching today guys i hope you found it interesting going around the yard showing you the difference of hay haylage and the different stuff we produce not forgetting the straw but yeah if you did enjoy the video today guys please give it a massive like if you want to see more stuff like this please subscribe don't forget to hit the little notification bell and the video is every saturday and wednesday at half seven in the morning cheers guys thank you for watching